Hey, what's up, family? This is Samson coming to you again with another Iron Sharpening Iron Moment. Today, I want to discuss a certain movie that just was released last week called Woman King. Many of y'all heard of it. Um, Woman King is about this uh, the Homie tribe from the Kingdom of the Homie that was predominantly a female tribe um, that was very successful and affluent. Uh, due to the capture now just a disclaimer I have not seen the movie and I probably won't see it because the trailer speaks for itself many people is going to or are they probably critiquing the movie based on just the title woman king like you know that's like an oxymoron when did women stop wanting to be a queen and now they want the position of a king so just the title alone telling you this probably an attack on men or masculinity um and also probably an agenda to constantly or steady feminize our men or emasculate um now i can easily touch on that and go and exhaust on that but i want to go a little bit deeper i want to talk about how the kingdom of the homie is primarily one of the main causes of the slavery we, we know as today the transatlantic slave trade now, the kingdom of the homie, uh, what makes them interesting is the intercontinental alliances they had with European colonizing nations, such as England, Denmark, Holland. This kingdom, which was uh, full of predominantly uh, women, was a warring tribe, was a warring kingdom. And what they did was they conquered a certain group of people, a certain tribe, and sold them to the Europeans. Now, the certain tribe that they conquered were, were what we call today uh, Hebrews or, or black Hebrews, black Israelites. Now, for more information on how these uh, black Hebrews or Israelites migrated from Northern Africa, Jerusalem, Israel area, all the way uh, down and now into West Africa, the Horn of Africa, I encourage you to read a book called From Babylon to Timbuktu um, by Dr. Rudolph Windsor. It's an awesome book. And maybe I'll go into details about the book at a later time, but I wanted to focus on um, a particular lie we were told, especially being an 80s baby, that don't blame it all on the European colony. It wasn't all their fault. You know, they didn't just capture so-called Africans on their own and bring them to the Americas and the Caribbean. You know, they had help. And that help was other African tribes. You see, this was the lie. Africa was capturing and selling other Africans, their kinfolks, to Europeans. That's a lie. Africans wasn't selling Africans. They were selling Hebrews. So the Dahomey tribe was the main tribe, was one of the many African tribes that captured and sold these Hebrews to European colonizers. They were able to conquer these Hebrews using um, a new weaponry that was developed called fire sticks. We call those rifles, long rifles today, but back then they were called fire sticks. It was given to them by the Europeans. So contrary to popular belief in what we were taught in school, Africans were not selling Africans uh, into slavery. They were selling Hebrews. And to go deeper, they were selling Judah. One of the proofs that just came out that backs what I'm saying up, and I think it's primarily due to what just happened a few weeks ago with uh, Queen Elizabeth II died. Um, a lot of nuggets or Hebrew nuggets is coming out per se um, and one of those Hebrew nuggets is a woman called Sarah Forbes Bonetta now who is Sarah Forbes Bonetta you ask well just to give a creep, uh, uh, quick synopsis Sarah Forbes Bonetta was orphaned in 1848 when her parents was killed in a slave hunting war in 1850 she was taken to England and presented to Queen Victoria as a gift from the kingdom of the homie she became the queen's daughter. Uh, she became the queen's goddaughter and a celebrity known for her intelligence. Now, when you go deeper 
and study Sarah Bonetta, you find out that she wasn't uh, African, per se. She actually... Now, back in the days, there was no black or white. You know, you wasn't categorized based on race. You was categorized based off your tribe, what tribe you were from. And it just so happened that Miss Panetta was from a tribe called the Yoruba people, or the Yoruba tribe, which was a West African tribe. And DNA tests revealed that this Yoruba people, along with the Shanti people, um, had Cohen blood, Hebrew blood. Now, I didn't see the movie, but that's just a little Hebrew nugget on the Dahomey tribe or the kingdom of Dahomey and the lie we were told about Africans selling Africans. I hope this was a blessing to you. Um, hopefully we can discuss this at, uh, at a further in-depth level. Uh, but for now, shalom, people. Shalom, Alex.